Have you ever stopped to wonder how Christmas, a worldwide phenomenon celebrated by millions, came to be? This holiday of joy and giving, where families gather around trees adorned with twinkling lights and exchange gifts, has a history as rich and varied as the traditions it inspires. Indeed, the origins of Christmas are shrouded in a tapestry of stories, beliefs, and practices that span across centuries and continents. Imagine a puzzle, an enigma, where each piece is a tradition or belief from different cultures and periods. That's what the history of Christmas is, a fascinating mosaic of customs, faiths, and folklore. Let's start with the name itself, Christmas. It's a shortened form of Christ's Mass, referring to the Christian celebration of Jesus Christ's birth. But did you know that many of the traditions we associate with Christmas today have roots that reach far beyond the Christian faith? Consider the Christmas tree, a symbol that has become synonymous with the holiday. It's believed to have originated in Germany in the 16th century, but the practice of decorating trees and homes during the winter solstice dates back to ancient times long before Christianity. Then there's the date, the 25th of December, it's celebrated as the birth of Jesus Christ, but the Bible never mentions a specific date. In fact, some theories suggest that this date was chosen to coincide with existing pagan festivals, a strategic move by early Christians to ease the transition to their faith. And let's not forget about Santa Claus, the jolly man in the red suit. His story is a blend of various figures and legends including Saint Nicholas, a 4th century bishop known for his generosity, and elements of Norse mythology. These are just a few glimpses into the complex, intriguing origins of Christmas. Each tradition, each story is a piece of the puzzle, contributing to the holiday's rich tapestry. And while we may never have all the answers, the journey of discovery is a gift in itself. Now, journey back in time as we unravel the fascinating history of Christmas. Far from its Christian connotations today, the roots of Christmas can be traced back to ancient pagan festivals. Long before the birth of Christ, midwinter celebrations were a staple in many cultures, and two such celebrations stand out in our journey to understand the history of Christmas. The Roman festival of Saturnalia and the Germanic Yule festival. The ancient Romans had a knack for festivities, and Saturnalia was no exception. Held in honor of Saturn, the god of agriculture and time, this week-long celebration kicked off around December 17th. As the Romans bid adieu to autumn harvests and welcomed the winter solstice, social norms were deliciously upended. Slaves were treated as masters and masters in a spirit of good fun, served their slaves. Gifts were exchanged, homes were decorated with wreaths, and a sense of joy pervaded the air. Sound familiar? On the other hand we have the Yule festival celebrated by the Germanic peoples. While the Romans were feasting and making merry, the Germanic tribes of Northern Europe were honoring their deities and ancestors by burning a large log, known as the Yule Log. This was not just a one-night affair, the log was kept burning for 12 days, and festivities included feasting, singing, and dancing. The Yule Festival was a beacon of warmth and light in the cold, dark winter, a symbol of life amidst death. These two festivals, though distinct, share surprising parallels with modern Christmas traditions. The spirit of joy and giving, the decorations, the feasting, and the emphasis on bringing light into the darkest time of the year are all elements that have found their way into our Christmas celebrations. It's fascinating to see how these ancient customs, born out of a desire to celebrate life and ward off the gloom of winter, have been woven into the fabric of a festival that millions celebrate today. Naturally, with the spread of Christianity, these pagan traditions began to take on a new form, but that, dear listeners, is a story for another time. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the evolution of Christmas in our next scene, Opening. As Christianity spread across Europe, the Church sought to replace pagan traditions with Christian ones. In the early days of Christianity, there were many debates over the exact date of Jesus' birth. The Bible didn't provide a precise date, leaving room for interpretation. However, during the 4th century, the Christian Church made a decision that would forever change the course of history. They chose December 25th as the day to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. But why this specific date? Some historians believe it was to coincide with the winter solstice, a time when many pagan festivals were held. The Church aimed to supplant these pagan celebrations with a Christian holiday, thus making the transition to Christianity more appealing to the masses. This strategy seemed to work rather effectively. Over time, the pagan traditions were absorbed into the Christian celebration, transforming it into a unique blend of the old and the new. 
This is why Christmas today is a mix of Christian religious observances and secular customs, from the nativity scene to the Christmas tree. The first recorded Christmas celebration on this date took place in Rome in the year 336 AD. It was during the reign of Emperor Constantine, the first Christian Roman emperor. This celebration was much different from the festive holiday we know today. It was a solemn, religious event. A far cry from the merry and bright celebrations we associate with Christmas now. But regardless of how it started, the important thing is what it has become. Over the centuries, Christmas has evolved into a global holiday, celebrated by millions of people, Christian and non-Christian alike. It's a time of joy, of family, of giving and receiving, and of remembering the birth of Jesus Christ. Closing. The birth of Christmas as we know it today was thus marked. It was a transformation of old pagan traditions into a celebration of hope, joy and love, centered on the birth of Jesus Christ. As centuries passed, Christmas began to evolve, embracing new traditions and discarding old ones. As we journey into the Middle Ages, Christmas took on a more recognizable form. The period was marked by festivities, feasting and merriment, but it was also a time when some of the less familiar traditions took root. In those days, the Twelfth Night, which marked the end of the Christmas season, was as significant as Christmas Day itself. It was a grand celebration, often marked by a Twelfth Night cake, and the election of a king or queen of the festivities. But as the winds of time blew, these traditions faded, replaced by others that have endured to this day. The Reformation, a transformative period in the 16th and 17th centuries, brought about significant change. The Protestant reformers led by figures like Martin Luther sought to shift the focus of Christmas away from the boisterous revelry and towards a more sober, family-centric celebration. This was when the tradition of the Christmas tree was born. The idea emerged from Germany, where Martin Luther is said to have been inspired by the starlit fir trees on a crisp Christmas Eve. He brought a tree into his home, decorating it with candles to replicate the celestial spectacle. This tradition slowly spread through Europe and eventually across the ocean to America. Now let's talk about one of the most beloved figures of Christmas, Santa Claus. His story begins with Saint Nicholas, a 4th century bishop known for his generosity. Over time the legend of Saint Nicholas merged with other folklore, including the British figure of Father Christmas, creating the jolly, gift-giving character we know today. Gift-giving itself has roots in the Roman holiday of Saturnalia, but it was during the Victorian era that this tradition became a central part of Christmas. The practice reflected the Victorian ideals of charity and goodwill, further cementing the holiday's shift towards a family-oriented celebration. By the 19th century, Christmas had transformed into a holiday of family and goodwill. The evolution of Christmas traditions is a testament to the holiday's enduring appeal and its ability to adapt and thrive through the ages. In the 20th century, Christmas took on a commercial tone, becoming a major event in the retail calendar. The twinkling lights and festive decorations that adorn our streets and homes today are a far cry from the humble beginnings of this holiday. The simple manger scene has been replaced by towering Christmas trees, glittering ornaments, and a sea of presents wrapped in colorful paper and bows. The commercialization of Christmas is a phenomenon that emerged in the 20th century, with the rise of department stores and the advent of television. Advertisers began to capitalize on the festive spirit, promoting their products as the perfect gifts for loved ones. Christmas sales became a crucial part of the retail industry, with businesses vying for the attention of shoppers in the lead-up to the holiday season. This shift towards consumerism sparked a debate that continues to this day. Critics argue that the true meaning of Christmas has been overshadowed by a focus on material goods. They worry that the holiday has become more about what's under the tree than the values it represents. Yet despite the commercialization, the core values of Christmas, love, joy, and giving, remain intact. Families gather together to share a meal, exchange gifts, and spend quality time together. Acts of kindness and generosity become more common, with many choosing to donate to charities or volunteer their time to help those less fortunate. The spirit of giving that defines Christmas is not solely about the exchange of material goods, it's about giving love, giving joy, and giving time. It's about sharing moments of happiness with those we care about and spreading warmth and goodwill to all. Christmas may have evolved over the centuries, with new traditions and practices emerging, but its essence remains the same. It is a time for celebration, for reflection, 
and for expressing love and gratitude to those around us. Despite its many transformations, the essence of Christmas remains a celebration of love, joy, and giving.